Hello. Hello, everyone out there in uh, internet land and TV land and at uh, Dubtown. I hope I'm on the big screen. I hope everyone can see and hear me uh, out there at Dubtown. Try to let me know. Uh, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Dubtown and I want to thank Patsy for helping me to arrange this. Let me adjust my microphone. It would help if I put on my microphone. There, is that better? Okay. Uh, I made arrangements with uh, with Patsy at Dubtown to appear on the big screen today to wish I, Miranda says yes to wish Miranda a happy 25th birthday that's what we're here for uh, and she tells me Chloe is there with her and uh, and her friend Patsy I know them so I know some of the people there and you, sh you all should know me anyway uh, 50 Street Studio 50 Street Studio uh, has been around for about five years almost six years now uh, we opened a retail space in Renton just around the corner from Dubtown in December. Worst timing uh, in the history of the world. <laughs> You're welcome, Miranda, I, I see. Um, but uh, we started showing weekend movies and having weekend arts bazaars immediately. I started doing that immediately. I didn't wait for construction to be finished or anything. And two or three weeks later, Miranda walked in the door and announced, I love this, I want to support this. She came to every movie, she came to every event, she donated uh, every time. Uh, she helped me many times, even when uh, there were not events or movies going on. Uh, she, helped, uh, she helped me tear everything down and move out, which, uh, which I did very early when I saw uh, the writing on the wall. Um, and we have been live streaming our movies and various events ever since then and Miranda has always been there and she's continued to donate. She's our biggest donor, she's our biggest supporter and our biggest preacher. So when Miranda talks about 50th Street, please listen <laughs> and please donate. So again, I made arrangements with Patsy at Dubtown uh, to do this. I want to show, I want to spend the next half hour showing something. It's a lost TV show from my own past that I recently rediscovered and I introduced Miranda to it and I want Miranda to show all of her friends and I cannot imagine a television show that fits more into Miranda's sensibilities than this so everyone please sit down seriously please sit down <laughs> have a drink a big drink and enjoy Bigfoot and Wild Boy Great Northwest comes the legendary Bigfoot, who eight years ago saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be Wild Boy. Animals never hurts them, Susie. Only helps us find out a lot more about them. I think I'll find out more right now. Susie, wait!
foot, you scared the fish away. Well, boy, so ratagamo. An airplane came down. Let's hurry. Follow us, Earthling. Right. Lucas was here. So right, Doc. <laughs> Susie, I should have known. Got you, didn't I? There's no time for jokes. Shatu thinks a plane crashed. Bigfoot, Maniko Kachawa. I know. Who are those creatures? Let's get closer. you seek are at the bottom of Lake Timberlane. Good. We will need human slaves to begin mining immediately. Slaves? With this planet as a mineral supply, we can easily dominate the entire galaxy. We've got to stop them. Talaka, Tambo. Good idea. You hide and I'll get them to come out. So there you are. Here I come. Susie! Dad! Susie! Dad? Take him. Now the girl. going to make slaves of everyone at the ranger station. Then we've got to stop them before they destroy the lake. But, Dad, you're hurt. Hurry. They must be stopped.
You have distracted them. They will be back, and they must be stopped now. There is a place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You all right, Susie? I'm going back to help Dad. You can't. You're the only one that people at the ranger station will believe. I hate it when you're always right. Now, Zorad. Excellent. Now to get the girl and complete our mission. Wild boy, Karata Gaman, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, Karata Gaman, Wild boy. I know, and they think they've stopped us. So now we have the advantage. Bigfoot finally met its match in these strangers from another world. Is Wild Boy to become a human robot like Susie and her father? Have these strange beings from space 
learned they can control humans and rob the Earth's precious minerals? Be with us next week and see in the exciting conclusion of Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Great Northwest comes the legendary Bigfoot, who eight years ago saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be Wild Boy. Ranger McCallum isn't the only one to realize it. An airplane came down. Let's hurry. He must not escape. There's Lucas. Who are those creatures? Let's get closer. But what Bigfoot and Wild Boy don't realize is Susie's father is now totally under the control of the strange beings. Report, Earthly. The minerals you seek are at the bottom of Lake Timberlake. Good. We will need human slaves to begin mining immediately. Slaves? It isn't long before our heroes arrive at the lake to see the theft of the minerals and destruction of the lake have already begun. Susie? and this giant will be under our control as well. No, leave him for now. We must get back to our work. Yes, Master. If you do not tell me how to capture the giant, you will suffer the consequences. No one can capture Bigfoot. You say that because he is your friend. I say that because he is Bigfoot. We shall see. Everyone will sleep except the ranger. You will stand guard and alert us if the giant comes back.
Good thing I wasn't carrying any eggs. Susie! Bigfoot. We gotta stop meeting like this. Susie! Co Sotra, wild boy. Bigfoot, look! Control box. Control box? Right. Everybody there has one. It lets them control what we say, what we think, even what we do. Wild boy, control box? Yes, and my father. But wait, you've got to wait till I get it off them. Do you understand? Susie, control box. Bigfoot, wait. I wish I could learn my French that fast. the order. She was trying to escape. She disobeyed the order. She was trying to escape. She must be punished. I needed a drink of water. He only thought I was escaping. Tomorrow you will have all the water you need. You will sleep now. Yes, master. Illogical. Missiles cause explosions. Look. Continue to work. You, come with me. to the ship. Kanava! Sashi! If they get those minerals to their planet, they'll be back with more ships. Sure, who can pass up a bargain when they see one? Unless we make sure it isn't any bargain. Right, Bigfoot?
and return to the ship. Let's disconnect the control boxes. Oh. Think they'll be back? Not when they discover the minerals are worthless. But if they do, we'll be ready for them. While we're here, no one will destroy our forest. La mana, colo. What he say? It's time to get back to fishing. Oh. Hurry before Dad sees you. But don't worry. With the control box off, you won't remember seeing a thing. Just like always. Yeah. What's going on? What are we all doing here? Having a picnic, Dad. Can't you tell a good time when you see one? <laughs> have it. Bigfoot and Wild Boy. Uh, happy birthday again, Miranda. Thank goodness the aliens were so dumb. <laughs> Thank goodness they were so easily distracted by throwing rocks. <clears throat> For those of you who want to see more of Bigfoot and Wild Boy, look it up on YouTube. Most of it's on YouTube. Each episode is crazier and dumber than the last. There's werewolf episodes, there's vampire episodes, there's mummy episodes. I didn't appreciate the show when I was a child. I was a little bit too old for it, but looking back on it now, it is an absolute masterclass in how to write for 10 year olds and how to waste network time between commercials, which when we get right down to it, that's what network television is all about. <laughs> Miranda says best surprise ever. I, I hope so. Thank you. And uh, I'll close out with the rock and roll theme from Gamera. See you next time, Miranda. Again, happy birthday.